Duke basketball forward Matthew Hurt Matt Cashore USA Today Sports, Duke Blue Devils 75 Notre Dame Fighting Irish 65 It was the best performance of the season from the Duke basketball team against Notre Dame. A week of controversy was finally put to bed for the Duke basketball team following its 75-65 victory over Notre Dame. No. 21 Duke 3-2. 1-0 ACC, heard its season was over after head coach Mike Krzyzewski expressed doubt following its second loss in four games to Illinois and news came on Tuesday night that freshman Jalen Johnson would be out, indefinitely, following a foot injury. ESPN reported during the broadcast that Johnson, who was not in South Bend, is in a walking boot and will be re-evaluated in two to three weeks with another MRI. Despite not having Johnson, the Blue Devils played their best game of the season by far, always keeping the Fighting Irish 2-3, 0-1 ACC, at arm's length throughout the game as Notre Dame never led. Also read, Jalen Johnson injury could be blessing in disguise sophomore Matthew Hurt led Duke in scoring once again with 18 points on 8 of 17 shooting from the field with 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks, and a steal. DJ Stewart, Jeremy Roach, and Jamin Brakefield all reached double figures in the 75-65 victory, as the freshman trio combined for 40 points on 15 of 25 shooting from the floor. Mike Krzyzewski inserted graduate transfer Patrick Tape into the starting lineup for the first time this season, logging 9 minutes and finishing with 2 points and 3 rebounds. As a team, Duke shot 51.7% from the field and 53.3% from three-point range while not missing in its five free throw attempts. However, the Blue Devils did struggle containing Notre Dame junior Dane Goodwin, who exploded for 25 points on 10 of 12 shooting, 4 of 6 from three-point range. Duke basketball found something against Notre Dame even without Jalen Johnson, the Blue Devils figured something out against the Fighting Irish on the offensive end with much more movement without the ball and finding teammates for open three-pointers. Also read, Duke goes on pause due to positive COVID-19 tests Duke also used a full-court press against the Irish, who struggled with the defensive style in its previous game against Kentucky, resulting in 12 turnovers on Wednesday night, resulting in 14 points for the Blue Devils. Krzyzewski's team will now separate for the first time this season for a holiday break, returning in Durham before its December 29 meeting against Pittsburgh.